Hello, my friends, and the stream is starting. Back in the Grangle Passives Event League. What do we have here today? Hey, Barrow. Oh, I just had an idea. One sec. Yeah, that goes. I tend to like the, the music fairly low for myself, but I just turned it up for all of y'all, so... Hopefully it'll be a bit louder for y'all than it will be for me. So, I've made a few changes to the build since uh, you last saw me. I've also hit level 84. Been a lot of grinding to get to this point, but I am finally here. I made some changes to the path of building, and I have updated that on the actual build guide, but I will post a new path of building link now. Gotta go find it. Build sharing. Okay. Okay, so that is link to revision three of the build. Currently, have revision two up on uh, YouTube videos, but I'll uh, I will update that. So, I've mostly just tried to get as much health as humanly possible, and also reservation efficiency. So I have health here, and here, and here. And here, and here, and here. <laughs> Just everywhere. Lots of reservation efficiency. Uh, more health, more health, more health. More health, more health, more health, more health. <laughs> Basically, that's just what I've been doing, is I've been trying to boost my health up. Uh, last stream I was at a little bit below 2,000 health. I'm now at 2,852, because I've been trying very hard to boost it. Uh, I have a few new pieces of gear that I've picked up. I added a profane proxy to the build. You don't have to use this. You can use a uh, Valico sign instead, so just two of those. But I picked this just so I don't have to cast the curse, because I already have a lot of stuff I'm casting. So it just saves some time. Hands out my chest plate. It's not very good, but it gives me evasion rating, and... That is very important. On my auras. Yeah, 51%. So without the chest plate, it's down at 46. So that's been a nice little bonus to have. Changed out my amulet just for something as basic stats. Got a bunch of uh, stats and health from my, my belt, and I have some stats some resistances, and so on from my boots. I've also added a uh, decoy totem to the build. Uh, that was, I was just playing with that before, but now I'm actually going to keep it. Uh, it's not supposed to be at level, level 17. It's supposed to be down at level 13 because uh, of the strength requirements. But it's up there still because whatever. Uh, I have Culling Strike on the Flame Dash, because why not? Uh, you can replace Culling Strike there with Portal. If you get a Portal Gem, I don't expect you're going to get a Portal Gem. Auras are the same. Things are mostly the same with the cast when stunned, except for now I have a Stone Golem on it as well, because extra life regen. Uh, I currently have Smite with faster attacks and Ancestral Call on my boots. The Ancestral Call is actually a mistake. I didn't realize this till now, but Ancestral Call only works with Normal Smite, not with Vol Smite. And I basically don't use the Normal Smite. I, we're only using the Vol Smite so we can get the Vol Smite Aura. 
So, I'm going to make a replacement to that. All right, that's going to be like everything. Yes, here we are. Life gain on hit support. So it'll just give like a little bit of extra life when we cast it. Because we're going to be stuck in place for a second while we're casting the... Uh... Yeah, it takes a full second to cast the Vol Smite. Because it attack time 0.99. So it's, it's really good to have that little bit of recovery afterwards. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to level that up now. I did that before the stream, but I forgot. I need very badly to get some automation to my flasks because I keep forgetting to use them. <laughs> uh, that's majority of what's go going. What is what has happened since uh, y'all have last seen me? I also grabbed Fangs of the Viper over here for extra dex and movement speed. Uh, I started moving down here with my passive points, so now I have even more mana reservation efficiency. I have an obscene amount of reservation efficiency now. I have, well, 12 there. The other ones. 12, 20, 28, 36, 44, uh, 52. About 52% mana reservation efficiency from my passive tree. Not including the 25% I get from Sanctuary of Thought, which brings it up to 77% mana reservation of it. By the way, this character, like the Deadeye in Crangled, I, I wish we had more time, but the Deadeye in Crangled actually would be a really good aura bot. <laughs> Just because of Sanctuary of Thought, and then there's a Guardian node right here. That uh, gives armor and and uh, energy shield to other people too. Plus, convergence will be really good on an aura bot. Weirdly enough, if you don't hit anything with uh, in with uh, an a oh my gosh, if you don't hit any unique enemies, then you always have have the increased area effect from convergence, so you can be really far away from people with your auras and still give auras to everyone. But yeah, that's just a fun little thing. Well, I have the chance. Do I have... Oh yeah, I have no orbs of regret at all. That's fair. Okay, so goal is to get to 90. We are at 84. We have 0% experience. A Kelden Delve. Oh, hey Ron. Welcome to the stream. And welcome to anyone else who hasn't said hi yet, too. Okay, I have yet to do any heisting in this leak, but I am going to do some now because heist is pretty good for XP generally. And also, we have the uh, we have a few uh, blueprints that we can do to be able to get us even more. Oh, I haven't even introduced myself to anyone yet either. Well. Isla doesn't give us anyone, and so I guess I'm going to be playing with Karst first. I don't know why she gave me a level 45 contract, but okay. A total of nine rogues markers to open this, but I guess that's better than the usual, like, 400. Also, sound check. Sound balance okay? Music, game sounds. My voice. As usual, you should be hearing all three. Awesome. Good to hear. I'm actually going to go into the jewelry room for one. This. I think that's actually there.
I gotta push. Actually, I'm just gonna push this really because none of this, all this stuff is gonna be really low quality anyways. It is leveling up my uh, life gain on hit though already. <laughs> Man, this urn has been stolen so many times. Oh, Impale Sport. I can use that. I can make some G. It's sad that I'm not going to have any, like, rogues gear thing on any of my characters. Because, you know, this isn't the main league. But. Whatever. All I need is to have some characters that will open doors. That's it. Nothing else it matters. I got less than 1% experience from that. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's kind of expected seeing as it's half my level. You know, let's actually open something you. Uh... None of these are Tibbs, which is... Okay, this one is Karst. Open up Karst one. Because the next Karst uh, reaction should introduce us... This Tibbs. Dairy? No. It's been Dairy. Oh, it's Huck! Okay. Well, good. Huck is very important, since he gives you increased XP. And then I can say, what the Huck? Time. Well. So. Win all, wins all around. Not that. <laughs> Chain lightning. I love being able to attack around doors. Or around corners. And around doors, too, I guess. Jump. Or I might as well grab the lockpick for it. It's hard to have rogues gear, but I'm not going to go looking for it or crafting it or anything. Do not have time. There might not actually be enough. I might not be able to do good enough heists for to actually get too much it's actually so that is a concern i'll be jumping into like some a little bit higher heists eventually i'm just doing these ones because these are priceless and precious ones so they'll build they'll give me the markers to be able to open things that are harder <laughs> I love using False Might on this build. Surprisingly, it actually does something. Like, it actually kills things. Which you really wouldn't expect, seeing as this isn't a melee build, a spellcaster, but I have enough damage to kill things with False Might because of how much lightning damage I have. Also, a truly stupid amount of life regen now as uh, our life on hit support levels up. Yep, that's level 10 up with it. Nope! Or that's level 11, actually. Okay, level 2 perception. Take the sticks. 
Oh, you're not level two lockpicking yet. Okay. I will put the sticks away then. Oh wait, actually I should just do because I need the Yeah, we've made two stack decks. We're gonna open our stack decks at the end of the stream. There's no reason not to open them saying as the Well this the stuff will get dumped into uh uh the Ancestors League. I don't know, it's well I'm fine just fucking around and wasting it. Now for the longest possible heist job, agility. Levels this place. 56. Okay, so I don't have to be too, too worried. <laughs> oh, except for the lasers. I'm worried about lasers. Not right now. Okay, that's just an armor room. Air. Run, Karst, run. Ah, oh, good, my golem's staying healthy. Thing is, I'm just doing white maps, I generally find that my golems are fine. Like, they stay up most of the time, so I don't really have to worry about them just... Over regret. Oh, those are like gold in this league. I have so many things I need to change. Actually, not a huge amount anymore. I have I have actually bought a whole bunch of regrets and already because I got a whole ton of uh, attributes from the tree initially when oh nice when I didn't really know. And I didn't have a better place to get them from. And uh, that was good, but now that I have like what is essentially my final gear, I can start cutting out some of the extra attributes that I just don't need. And start replacing it with other things. Like flat, like percent life or stuff like that. That's way more important to me than like 10 strength. Speaking of which, index. Anything else I need to put this? There's always this, but I don't know. I don't know. There's not really much in the, the Lightning Mastery that I want, honestly. Chaos Mastery. Yeah, that's fair. I don't really. What could it get chaos res? No oh, evasion writing. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I can't see my evasion writing because I don't have my auras in town, right? Sixty A. Oh, don't have any deception people yet. Okay, so I'm going to need to get, uh... And that may actually just be Gianna who can do Deception. I don't know if Niles can or not. In any case, I need to run something with Huck. Pretty badly. But I can unlock whatever's next. Wow, this is a really short heist. What level is this? 61. That's not worth. It. Okay. I was going to like run, I was going to run to the start and then run back and then run to the start again, which is something that you do if you want to like maximize your heist XP, but it's not there's no real value to doing that if the XP is this low. I'm not going to bother.
The next one's a 68. That will be worth... Probably worth that extra win. I still don't have anything for that. I keep forgetting. <laughs> oh, oh, that's actually not bad. Do the tabs I go. I... That one later when I actually have something to do with it. And only level two. Okay, well, I guess Karst, you're going to get Purity of Ice for now. Any free auras are better than no free auras. Next is to do something for Huck. I need some demolition. There we are. Ah, oh, it's 57. Do I have a non 57 demolition? Yes, that's 69. That's much better. Increased XP. Huck is the XP character. Because he gives a bonus. 10% ex experience gain up to 20% as he levels up. Ooh, can I upset a bunch of rats here? Yes, no. I Lots of pack size. Ooh, a little bit of lag. I'm really killing too much right now because, I mean, majority of the XP will come after the alarm goes off. Before the alarm is money. After the alarm is XP. We'll see if this is actually an efficient way of leveling without having a ton of high stuff set up or not. Might not be. I want to at least try it, though. I do like heist a lot. Stop stirring me. My character is as female as I am. Oh, we might get noticed. Terrible fate. Uh, I might actually have caused myself a problem there. Can I get through here fast enough? Yeah, okay, I'm good. Okay, 6% XP. Let's see what I get from this ice that's 69. Lots and lots of XP. XP. Nom 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 nom. Be large groups of things that I can smash. Nom. Chain lightning versus rats works very well. Okay, so running back got us 3%. Do another run. This way this time. Yeah, 
uh, heist XP might require some setup that I don't have. Maybe a faster character. It's definitely a decent way to earn XP, but I don't know if it's a good way to earn XP right now in this league character setup. I'm kind of curious what this this area is considered, whether this is considered part of uh end game or not. Because I'm wondering what like the XP uh penalty is for dying in here. Cuz technically this area is in the first part of the game, but I'm pretty sure it still does give you huge XP penalties if you die. Maybe it relates to the uh, level of the heist itself. Yeah, that was 5%. Like, doing the run back and forth. Or no, that was that's 5% for running to the start, running to the, to the end, and running to the start. Let's try a different method of leveling. I do actually have Delve. Delve works. Delve is very good at, le at leveling. I don't really have much in the way of self. I only have a thousand, but... I can try that, see how that goes. I need Azerite pretty badly, though, to actually perform well. Because, like, you need enough light radius that you're actually killing the things that you're hitting if you have a wide range ability like mine. Otherwise, it'll just be hitting, just chaining things to things off screen, and that's not going to help you. Hey, you stop following me. Pretty good radius here. I'm at level 69 here, so this is actually decent. XP, or at least it should be. That's alright. Give it to me. Nom 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 nom. Rock candy. Nothing better than blue rock candy. This should chain fairly well from here. Wow, that that vault might hit behind me. It's really cool how that strikes behind you. I love that. It's like anywhere that there's a thing, it hits. Yeah, that was three percent XP. It wasn't very long though. I still think that's a bit better XP than I was getting before in the heist, based on like the, the time investment. Okay, so I start at 14%. Let's see what I get from this. Also, different areas in Delve give different XP. 
So there is that too. Oh, it's really cool watching the chain lightning. Whee! Arc is a really fun skill. Okay. Rude. Almost for that. Uh. Hmm. No, I don't have a. Oh, I'm short by four sulfite! Ugh! <laughs> That's so rude. The only. Okay, I can do this one. Might go back to mapping. <laughs> I, I briefly glanced over that monkey, though. It had extra chaos damage. That's what happened. I got chaos. KLDR, Delve's still good. Delve's scary, though. Well, actually, it's been fine, except when that happens. On the bright side, I only lost 12% experience, so it's not anything. I can recover that. I do have six levels to get by tomorrow evening, though, so... I have to be careful. I'm going to need as much XP as I can get. I'm considering streaming tomorrow as well, just while I'm working on it. That was 4%, not bad. Okay, probably time to jump back. Maps. That last little bit of here, I can't eat a lot. That last little bit of sulfite in in this mine. That's still a level seventy area. That's still not bad. I become pretty tanky, so I'm I'm pretty good. I just need to be careful and hope I don't get randomly destroyed by chaos damage. My Chaos Res is negative 37%. Not very good. Okay, I'm going to place the Decoy Totem. Okay, didn't really need it. The decoy totem actually helps a lot, and I need to remember to use it more. It keeps things off me. Okay. So, I have 150 dark, 150% darkness resistance and 280% light radius. Not bad. Yeah, it looks like I'm getting like 3% per section in Delve. It's not terrible. But unfortunately, it's not sustainable. Because I am out of self fight. So, we are going to start doing some maps. I need 11 more new maps done. If I can do that, I can access the uh, the 10%... Uh, actually, I'll just show you. I want to uh, go all the way up here to this. Just completing maps grants 10 intelligence for a random uh, syndicate safe house. Because then I can just spam maps, even without June. And I can get lots of safe houses which have increased XP gain. So that's my hope. I think. Anything too dangerous here? No, I should be fine.
Okay, delay line. I started at 6%, I should mention that. So we'll see what I get from this map. I really wish I had more than 2,800 health. Like, that's really not much, but... That's the best I've been able to get so far. And as I level up, I will get a bit more, but not as much as I would like. Okay, you need to stop... Oh, that will be valuable when this moves. Ancestor League. Ooh. White Scepter. You're White Void Scepter. Okay. No time to be distracted. Decoy Totem in the middle. Now I can just attack. God, I love my decoy totem. So at the area, so we can do the breach. Pack around me. I don't necessarily need to see the enemies to be able to hit them, so... It's better to just attack in a direction, and if I see the arc go somewhere, then it goes somewhere. It doesn't, it doesn't. Last hand. I'm theoretically really good for this with this build. So, I need to do what I can to use up all of my abilities. My arc goes pretty far. I need to right out here. I need to activate the boss. Hello. You're not a real one, are you? Oh, you were real. Okay, well that works. Eleven no, ten more maps. I wish I was a bit faster. Don't really have a good method of fixing that problem right now. After all, if I'm going to change any of my gear, it will be to add more survivability. Activate that. Go the decoy totem in the middle. And attack. Yep, no, no, I'm the middle. Go to the middle. Yeah, go fight the middle. Go fight the stick in the middle. It's very angry. It's an angry stick. Go with that angry stick. Go get him. Yeah. Okay, super stick in the middle. Yes, it is the stick of anger. The best stick. Pop it back in the middle. Hard to see it from here, but... What did we get? Ah, oh, that's actually not a bad ring. That's about 
Yeah, I'm not 90. It's 83%. Oh, or 83% at lunch was not bad. Rarity on a gem. I've seen that before. Apparently a lot of people have, though, so whatever. <laughs> not valuable. Roll that to give myself a chance to something else. Eh. Tea time. Clear those out and just finish off the middle here. I'll call that good. Okay, 25% experience. We got 19% from that single map. Pretty good. I'm curious about this. This might actually be valuable because there are scepters that can be stronger than the scepter that I have here. This is not it yet, but I might be able to make it into something really good. So we'll see. Not that I have a huge amount of time to be crafting things, but you know. And alleyways. Don't like alleyways, but eh. Need it for completion. Okay, starting this map with twenty five percent. Twenty five percent of the way to eighty five. At least there's some decent mob density here, if nothing else. Uh, those are the impale gloves. Those might be valuable. Need to use that decoy totem more. I don't have to take all the damage that I take. Face my angry stick! Oh, I should do that. I want those following me. Honestly, the uh, stick is more useful when I'm dealing with bigger groups of things, like reaches or... Or, like, the three things that I find... While looking at little killing packs, not probably not actually going to help me that much. Still, and now put a decoy totem down and let that distract him, and that lasted for longer than the boss did. Perfect. Thirty-four percent, eleven percent for that map. That was a lot faster though too. Eh. Next. Great old one's tentacles. You are worth not a huge amount. But the dash you go. More transfer maps to be duplicated. Yay! In Cemetery, which I really do like because it has a lot of mob density and also Legion! I love Legion on this character. I cannot wait to show off Legion on this character. It is so good. I 
I mean, it's, it's as effective as, as you would think Jane Lightning would be against a Legion. Do you want to clear out the stuff in the area, though, before I did? Ooh, lots of maps. Oh, I need that. I actually need that really badly. A bunch of maces, too, which I will use as soon as that uh, I get that node that gives me safe house research, progress, information, stuff. You know what I mean. And Rog is holding five Chaos Orbs hostage, so I should do this. Okay. XP, sounds good. Uh, drop corrupted items, very bad. <laughs> uh... Yep, not penetrating chaos resistance, please. That would be bad as well. And I don't care about the rest of this, so I'm just any boxes and it as I can find over here. Okay, only one remnant, but that's totally fine. I'm not here to maximize my profits. I'm here to maximize my experience. If I take too many risks, I will have a problem. To be very careful. The name of the game is being very careful. I got a couple. Oh, wait. Frog's not holding it. It's Tushin. Okay, cool. I can show off the Legion now. Time to zap the Legion. Yeah! Oh, it just runs through them so quickly. The bosses obviously are kind of a problem, but... Oh, it's so good. Careful, because Legion mobs can be dangerous. Ow. Case in point. Actually, I don't need the splinters. I'm not going to get enough in time to use them. Oh, Forbidden Tom, cool. No! Oh no! Oh, that's Tukahama. Yeah, focus. No! Why are you focusing on me? Leave me alone. Ooh. Bunch of ancestral war chief totems. That's scary. They are very dangerous. Never underestimate ancestral work. Okay. I have the map boss. Put him over there. Didn't even get a chance to react to it. Got a cure mission though. Need that. Be great if I was able to get do some breaches and get a whole, whole bunch of breach splinters, but I don't think that's happening. I do have breaches on my atlas that like breach passives, so that is a good thing. Wonder which thing we shouldn't use. Uh. Okay, I guess this will be 
here. Lightning. Lightning right there. Another lightning down there. Fire. Lightning. I'll deal with most of it. Them to get past this too much at the top. I can upgrade both of those. Face my arc. That was fast. What is playing? Oh, the pirate one. Okay, I like this one. <laughs> Nope, oh, not by. Well. So. Yeah, I'm going to use the cemeteries because the cemeteries are very easy. That's a shore map, actually. I should do this one. Definitely. I need that to do done. Yarg. I don't really like stealing charges, but that's not whatever. That's fine. To risk the shore map. It'll be my first yellow map, which means I can start getting yellow missions. And I think I'll be getting a set of missions tonight when the daily rolls over. So that will give me something to work on. To oh, envoy. So this is going to be Maven Witness. That's fine. The pirate captain's not too dangerous. More importantly, he's squishy. Ow. Signs. Okay. Breach. Okay. Boy, toad him down. Everything in. Grab the clasped hands. I'll grab the splinter. On the fence about it, but I already do have some splinters, so. And said it might be worth it. Unlike the timeless ones where you need two stacks minimum to do something. Stacks are three stacks, I can't even remember. Need a fair bit. More than I have time to get. Or precinct maps. I really like precinct, but I think I still need to do it. Okay, decoy totem. Buff up.
Maven's Beacon. Okay. Got the Maven's Beacon, now I can learn how to type. I think only 90 kids, 90s kids will get that reference. I mostly cleared out. Yeah, this is cleared out now. Close enough. But a morph. Well, if you date yourself, tr remember to pay for dinner. Alright. Down. I never realized how powerful Decoy Totem was until I played with it this league. It is amazing. It didn't even get a chance. There. Attributes here. That. 61%. Precinct, but that's seven. That's a tier seven. Not going to mess with that. Not yet. Let me level first and then I can mess with that. A cosine. Good. Um. Let's duplicate maps. Get in there. Nope, wrong one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I need eight more pass points. I mean, going around and killing map bosses really is not this character's forte, but like, I don't know, there are some really weak map bosses. Oh, Solaris, hi. I get her? Oh, that is Soul Eater. That is Soul Eater. Why does that have Soul Eater? Oh, okay. Totem. By the totem. Yep, deal with the angry stick. Okay. Mobs. I missed my portal gem. Decoy put him down. I hope for Path of Exile 2 they just do away with the concept of portal scrolls and portal gems and just give you a portal you can just hit a button like every other AR ARPG that's out there. I need to pay for it, it's just kind of stupid. But more importantly, it's just an annoyance because every like it's required that you have it in your build. It doesn't really matter which what character you are or what build you're playing. It's pretty much required that you have one socketed in somewhere, whether it's in your offhand or your main hand. Whenever there's something that's like ideal to have on every character, I would consider that bad design. Which does not mean to make it worse. I note that, not to make it worse. We do not want things to be worse. Okay. Might aura active. Oh, it's just leave. Might. Decoy totem down. 
Okay, good. That decoy totem pulled one of them. Two of them. Oh, that's good. And that's really effective against getting uh, assassinated. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure, he'll go to intervention. I don't really care. I'm trying to pick whatever gives us the whatever gives me the best possible uh progress towards safe houses. It doesn't matter which safe house, it doesn't matter what I get from the safe house, I just progress. Now that actually might be worth selling. Uh, I'm not going to bother with... Oh! Or not Legion. The uh, expedition. I will bother with the laboratory, though. Hope I don't die in it. That would suck. Losing 50% of a level is so punishing. I have lost so much XP through just, like, a few simple deaths. And I... As some of you might know, I am against the concept of a 10% penalty on in the end game. So a 50% a 50% penalty, I'm also against. <laughs> Mostly because it just makes me. It just I find that the only change in my gameplay is that it's I get really stressed out. <laughs> the leader for the research safe house just changed three times. <laughs> okay, so I have 30, 60, and 75. 75 more. Okay, so this safe house will be done in three turns. So one more map. I don't think I have any... Yeah, I'm out of June. That's unfortunate. I don't know, I'll just have to hope. Yeah. Okay, Dexanint. Ooh, that's a fair bit of life. What do we get? Eh. I give it more cold. Cold and chaos, that's not bad. All res and lightning. Oh, channeling skills. Okay, cemetery. Oh, cemetery. Uh. Ah, whatever, I'll do neat. I'm not going to do Maven even if I could, just because there's no value to it. I mean, the entire thing is bossing, and this is not a bossing character. <laughs> this character is rather bad at it. If I had more time and more money, I could definitely make a character that can, could boss, but I don't, so I'm not. <laughs> I know that. 76%. Don't want to die. That would be very bad. I'm running out of time to get XP. Want to risk dying. Oh, going back to the XP penalty, uh, no. I don't think having XP penalty is necessarily bad, but I think 10% is a bit extreme. And I think 50% in the event is also a bit extreme. Uh, 
Oh, I don't even have to see the enemies, and I can just add them. I do like this build. I like how well it's come together, despite this being a temporary league with not a huge amount of access to things. I did make it a mistake early on, though, uh, in the build specifically, where I said that uh, I, I picked the uh, Voice of the Storm because it's usually a pretty cheap amulet. Uh, it comes from Esh specifically, and, well, Breach Lord uniques are pretty rare in Fangled League, as you might expect. That was a bit of a mistake. Unfortunately, it would have made the build like 25% strong. It was a huge. But I just, I mean, it doesn't exist. I have like an auto. Uh, I have a, a thing that's. Oh, fuck, I love Osmite. I have a thing that's automatically checking the, if it pops onto the market. So if it does pop onto the market, I might buy one if I have the currency before the end of the league. If it doesn't, or I don't get it, whatever. Not that big a deal. I don't think it will be the difference between whether I level or not to 90. Eighty-four percent. Once I finish leveling up, I'm gonna go do some really high tier maps. And by really high tier, I mean, like, early yellow maps. Because I'm only doing tier 4 white maps right now. I just want to uh, take the chance when I have a very low amount of XP to get uh, the completion rewards that I can. And then I'm going to use that to get me a ton of safe houses, which will also give me a ton of XP. Actually, this does make me wonder something. If I, let's say, don't use the safe house immediately, so I have one safe house and three that I'm working on, I wonder if I finish a map, if it can still select the uh, finished safe house and just give you nothing. I hope not, but that does sound like a problem that could pop up. Now don't go back to the portal. And I'd really like to spell dodge. I have a teeny bit of spell suppression, but I mean, it's not enough to count on for anything. Like four. Oh, oh, I know you. You're not gonna... Nope. Oh, thank you. Why is cemetery has these really weird corners? <laughs> it's like the Pinocchio nose of the map. 90% XP. River... Malformation. I should be good to do Malformation. I don't... I'm a bit concerned about the boss, deal, like, dealing with, um... I can't remember if Malformation is... I think that's the Depraved Trio. But, uh... I don't really want to deal with the boss until I've leveled, but I should be able to... Oh no, this is Dodre. 
Unless it's piety. Any case, I'm going to try to level first. And I think I'll be able to in the map. Worst comes to worst, if I have to, I will step outside the map and go to the reliquary and level. If I have like 3% left before the boss. Because piety can be rough, and so can Dota. Character definitely is good with strong boxes. I'll lean into that if I get the chance with points. I probably won't because, I mean, this league is very temporary, but. Oh, this is going to be weird if this character gets booted out into Ancestor at, like, level 90. <laughs> I just have this one weird character with gear that doesn't make any sense and a passive tree. Actually, no, we'll probably be given a pass tree spec. I think we definitely will be, get, be given that. Actually, no, they, they have to force respect the tree, because otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. Remember to use my flasks. Secret laboratory. It's good in this, this event specifically to check your vault side areas because near the top, if it, it has the ability of rolling inc increased experience gain, so that can be really good. This one does not have it, but I might do it anyways. There's 56% increased pack size. Be really careful because vol mobs can be kind of dangerous generally. I just won't take any chances. Oh yeah, right. Spawn beyond base. Forgot. Ninety-six percent. Out. This is why I need to be careful because that hurt a lot. Okay. Get close for comfort. Oh, uh, what was that? Scratch that. I don't care what that was. Just die. What is this puzzle div card I keep getting? Oh, Breachstone. Breachstone splinters. Ooh. Away from me with that card dash. Oh. Bad yellow thing. Right beyond demon. Not very good. So close to leveling. I cannot die here. I would be so distraught. <laughs> Can killing a massive horde of enemies trigger a horde of beyond beasts? Then killing that massive horde of Beyond Beasts trigger another horde of Beyond Beasts. Feels like that's what just happened. 85! Okay, now I can be reckless. Ow. Bear trapped. Uh, I don't like this. What is that? 
That must be a Beyond base that I'm seeing. Yeah, that's a Beyond base. I recognize it. Okay. Totem? Whatever that thing is, it's strong. And I don't have to fight it. Bye. Goodbye and fuck you! Not gonna rush to allocate the point. I don't actually know what the point is. I have to check the path of building. I also have to make sure the path of building tree is right, because it might be off now. That is a lot of fucking boots. I'll take boots. Blink boots are fair. High tier bases. Boop, boop, boot. Ooh, good boot. Bad boot. Bad boot. Bad boot. Bad boot. Bad boot. Bad boot. Good boot. Bad boot. Bad boot. Bad boot. Bad boot. Bad boot. Good boot. Bad boot. Yeah, my uh, sometimes the the things that I say to process the things that are going on in my brain that make me sound like I'm insane. And I don't want people to know that I'm insane. No, I'm kidding, I don't care. Oh, okay, this is piety, not Dodre. Okay. I'm going to put the decoy totem down, but I don't think it's going to help me. Oh. Fine. I guess I can just kill her. That's also an option. Okay. This is fire, lightning, and 30% movement speed. That's good. That is going into my cell tab. Good amulet. Not good. All right, I can't drop that. Oh, I'm running into portal scrolls. That's a unique problem, actually. I'm not used to that happening. <laughs> I could grab Chaos Res. Chaos Res is good. Chaos Res is always good. Chaos Speed will do a wielding cooldown rate of movement. Kills. Charge. Well, this is just straight up damage. Oh, is there any curse stuff I could get that would be really Actually, I should take this because my uh, I have a, I have a high high-ish freeze chance, I think, on my main skill. Chance to freeze fifteen because of the uh, two dragons. That theoretically will bring it up to thirty-five percent chance to freeze, which would be amazing if that's how it actually works. I feel like I'm flying really blind right now without having 
half a building to refer to every few seconds, just to like double check my damage calculations. Oh. Well, well, well. That sounds fun. Okay, one moment. Uh, every second. Hi. Thank you for feeding me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Wait, tier 7. Oh, that actually that's going to be really good XP for us then. I'm at 11%. I just leveled. So I don't get killed by something suddenly. I don't have a huge health still. Should be fine. I'll just be careful. Between the flame walls, the sparks, and the arcs, I'm sure we'll be And the rampage. Don't forget the rampage. <laughs> as soon as my safe house uh, ticks over, I will return the favor with that. Lots of hours. Oh, that was a good time for Detonate Dead. Oh, lots of devours in the corner. I found Devourer Corner. Oh, sorry, I'll come back. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else there now. Golden crab. On to make some surf and turf. Wonder how good things would be a cooked with lightning. I guess the problem would be how even it like, wouldn't be cooked very evenly, I don't think. Like, I feel like it would be burnt to a crisp on the outside and then, like, kind of rawish on the inside. I guess it also depend on how, like, tender the meat is and stuff. Oh, congrats on leveling. I should re-roll my Kirak now that I have a mission from him. Actually, I should see if I can get a yellow mission from him, then re-roll my Kirak and check and see if we get anything good from that. Because if I could get an Untainted Paradise, oof, that would be amazing. I don't know how high a chance that is, but... Better than nothing.
26 monsters remain somewhere. Ah. Eight monsters remain. Okay, that's probably the bosses then. Wow. That was 71% experience. That's crazy. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, I guess I'm not going to push maps yet. Okay. Get <laughs> down the cemetery. Finish off this level. Oh, I do have a June mission now. Okay. Gonna do this June mission. And this will tick the board three times, which is what I need. Actually, I might only need two ticks, but still, three will be fine. If y'all aren't familiar with with uh, betrayal, it actually is a turn-based system. Okay, no, I do not want to die now. If I die now, I'll be very sad. Yeah, no, stop that. I just keep casting in front of me. I should be fine. Put him down. Let it distract things. Last hand. Put him down. Oh, for a second I thought that was that was the one that I wanted. I was like, oh my gosh, is that a Force of the Storm? No. Because you can get uh, Breach Uniques to drop from just normal Breaches rather than the Breach Lords themselves. Okay, Jorgen. Actually, I don't want you. Mention. Decoy totem down. Yes, again, Isling. Have to be careful. Betrayal stuff while there's other mobs around. I think I'm safe enough. Isling, up a level. Aku. Give me more intervention points. Oh shit, did that fuck up my thing? Oh, I hope they didn't fuck my board up. How's my board? 80%. I only have five. No, I just fucked it up. Oh, it booted it out. I was going to get more in intelligence from that, and I did not get it. Oh, darn it. Specifically, what happens is you can only have three people uh, uh, imprisoned at once. So if you run if you run out of slots, it will just release the last person or the uh, the oldest person in the uh, prison, which bad. <laughs> Let's 
because it doesn't give you any progress for it. It just releases them. Versus, like, I guess the concept is that you're torturing them for ex information or something, so every turn you get a bit of information from them before they get let go. Or, okay, no, not let go. Before they get executed. Because, I mean, they'll just come back to life again. And there they are, the Immortal Syndicate. A lot of mages. Okay. Decoy totem behind them. Hopefully that's okay. Yep, that's more than enough. 91%. I'm going to have to go back and do the uh, laboratory mission. Laboratory encounter. Oh, I never identified that bow. Strength and hey, please die. Million more not to die here. If I like lose some of the XP I could have gotten otherwise, whatever, that's fine. But if I die, I lose so much more. I'd rather lose the chance of getting progress on the house than my life and limb. Born to make careful calculated risk. Take careful calculated risk. Oh, it was just Elrion. Honest moves to Uh, oh, good progress is being made. 92? That looks like 93. Basically 93. Most important thing is that I do not get myself killed now, because that would be heart wrench. No endurance charge craft. Not for Okay, so this isn't particularly bad. This has got a fair bit of resistances on it. 100% resistance. At least 5%. 5 chaos. Okay, and I need something, just some simple map. Don't want to be particularly scary or anything, just want something simple. Go for bog. Bog's easy. Okay, two bosses, that's fine. Hey, okay, let me get some black sulfite out of this. Okay, 7% more to get. 7% I'll be ready. A level. Get to 86. Looking good for 90 right now. Just hoping I don't get stonewalled by something. Like just ha having a really unfortunate set of maps or something. It's not guaranteed that I will get to 7. 
get to 90, but I'm hoping. Helpful. Oh, Ow. Boy. You know, go fight my decoy totem. I don't know if I'm gonna... I don't think I'll be able to beat red map bosses with this character, I gotta say. The yellow map bosses are going to be rough. Red map ones, I don't know. That might be a losing battle. Certainly not without death, at least. And death is the worst possible option. Ninety five percent. Nope. AOA weird priest things. I know how dangerous you are with your magma. If I Thorpe's good. I don't know if I need them anymore. I'm past the point of selling most things, I think, in this league. I don't think people are gonna buy a huge amount more now. I should stop picking up as much stuff as I have been. I don't know if worth the time. Do 20% quality forking rate. Before I start that, though... We're going to take a quick intermission, since we're an hour and 45 minutes in. Good chance to get up, stretch, get water, adjust your posture, you know the drill. Be back in five. And we're back. Okay, Forking River. How am I doing on self fight? I should check. 1800, uh, 5200. Okay, so I can take multiple more self fight missions. After this map, I will be pushing to uh, get some more Atlas Point. So I can be working on safe houses as well as normal leveling. I hate those lightning pylons. They're scary. I think I'm starting to get more used to mapping now with this character. I'm starting to feel a bit more reasonable. I kind of know what I can do and what I can't do now. At least I'm starting to. I 
be careful that none of those are, like, freezing ones. I don't exactly want to get frozen. Nope. Nope. This is a very glassy fast character, is what I'm feeling like. Not a fast character, but like... It's a long range character, that's Oh, hello, and Oh yeah, you subbed uh, you followed last stream. Thank you again for that. Welcome to the Welcome to the stream. We're just working on leveling up in Cranglet League. Okay, give me lots of fire. I'm just going to do something really simple and just pour a ton of fire towers down. Ooh, actually, I could do a buff tower. I think I'd do a buff tower for all of this stuff if I get enough. Yeah, okay, a third tier buff tower should be able to reach all these towers, too. That's going to be good. Yeah, that's all of them. Nice. Ah, you're rushing to get the last little bit of Krangled League? What sort of build are you doing? Oh, 99% XP. So close to leveling. Level 86! Ooh, now I can be calm and not worry as much. It's always like a weight off my shoulders when I level. It's not that I dislike leveling, it's that I just hate the pu the serious punishment of death in both this event and in the just normal league. That it stresses me out a lot. I hate losing progress. Oh, you started in base ancestors. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really a football person. Which is basically how I view an uh, Trial of the Ancestors. It's, it's a sports league. And I don't think it's a bad thing, but it's not really my thing. I have been enjoying the league itself, though, just for the characters that I've made. And yeah, some of the challenges are pretty rough. They don't require Doriani's um Doriani's Machinarium anymore for uh for completion, but they still require it in the unique uh, complete unique maps challenge, despite the fact that it's worth like many, many times, maybe two or three times the sum of all the price of all the other maps that it uh, has you do. Well, that's kind of rough. And there's also a bunch of ancestors challenges, which I'll just never do. Oh, okay, yeah. So there's been some really big problems, like some technical issue problems this league. I don't know what they did, but they fucked something up very badly. It's not just you. No, 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 no. Me and everyone else I know who plays has had some serious issues. I crashed out of a Gift of the Goddess, which is too div. And that was, like, seriously punishing. And, like, we were, like, halfway between the second and third trials, too. So, like, it was really bad. We were going to complete it. 
I've had those issues. I've had my uh, mini map bug out and artifact. I've crashed out of a number of different maps. Uh, a guildmate uh, crashed out of a map earlier today and it became completely unusable. They just couldn't get into it. I even tried it. I couldn't get into it either. Like it's it's really really bad lately. I'm not very happy with the stability this update. They said they did a bunch of stuff to uh, make it easier to... Uh, they changed how things were stored uh, for the assets. I'm not really sure how that fucked everything up, but it fucked everything up. I, I don't know. It's... It's really sad how bad it is. Oh, we got a 29% quality map. That's interesting. Anyways, yeah, it's just it's just sad how how rough it's been this league. I even messaged like customer support being like, "Hey, that that was a big loss having your client just crash and burn like that. Like, can you do anything?" And they're like, "No, we can't. We can't do anything." So that's sad. Whenever I enter a map and I haven't played yet, CPU spikes for a bit. Yeah, I don't know what they did. I'm I'm just not. I'm just very displeased with them right now. Let's put it that way. I really wish that they had an in-game method of, per of uh, posting bugs. That would be very nice. Or if they do, I don't know of it. And anyone feel if there is a method, feel free to tell me. I will submit so many bug reports. I'm I'm that person that uh, sends in all the bug reports, but it's hard to do it if there's no in-game meth method. I just don't have the desire to go figure out how their form system works. Okay, some more chaos res for me. Uh, nope, did not want to go back in here. Gonna do some tier 7s now. It's a bit higher than normal. Uh, no, I'm not maybe witnessing this. Fuck that. Fix some sulfite too. Yeah, I hope you don't have any anything too bad happen with your client this leak. I I'm just really disappointed in them for whatever they did. I mean, obviously they probably didn't mean to do whatever they did, but it's just really unfortunate that they created so many issues and haven't been able to fix them yet. I mean, I I don't know for sure if they even know of the issues yet. The Act 2 jungle music just stopped? <laughs> I mean, they did make changes with the asset specifically. That could be related. I, I don't know. I don't know what they did. Because, like, when I read the patch notes, it seemed like they were making some pretty safe and reasonable changes. I don't know how what they did turned into this. But... Yeah, it redownload stuff because like it was moving stuff where stuff was around, and it's I think it's easier for them to download it again than it is to uh, just move stuff on a computer. I don't know. Yeah, I need to. Reinstall the application again. Getting some weird stutters too right now. That might just be my internet though being a pain. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, okay. 
Like, you can watch my character walk, like, it's kind of jilted. It... Yep. There's, like, little pauses. It only happened once so far. But yeah, they, they took down the game's stability really far. That... I really hope that they work on that. And I'm sure they are, but I really do hope they work on that soon, because it's hard when you're someone who makes content and you want to do the really challenging stuff that costs a lot of money, but you don't want to risk your map just randomly bricking for no preventable reason. I just waiting to just hoping that it works. That's really the only option I've seen most of the time now. Like I'm probably gonna try the gift of the goddess again on in the main league. And I'm just gonna hope it works. I actually saw two Azaros during that particular attempt. They were like they weren't fighting as if it was like a twinned boss. Like they were moving as if they were the exact same thing, but there was enough of a lag that you could see that there was multiple creatures there. Oh no. I don't like this. I don't like this that much. Decoy totem. Ooh. Calandra said hi. Yeah, that makes sense. Is Mir Desaro? Yeah, I think I think there's still incentive for them to fix the problems. Not because because like there are, the problems, as far as I can tell, aren't related to the uh, expansion. So all the events are going to have the exact same problems, which means that there is a lot of focus on them actually still. If these were issues with Trial of the Ancestors specifically, then yeah, maybe they wouldn't have as much reason, but I think they still do. So, I think we can rest easy on that, at least. Yeah, that really sucks, Pyro. Oh, you got killed by him after he died? Ugh. Yeah, that's something that really is... That thing's really frustrating about Azaro and has been a problem for so many leagues, is that you can just prevent him from leaving if you freeze him. So freeze builds have to, like, play around him being stupid. And even if you don't have a freeze build, like, sometimes he just is too busy in his animations to actually turn around and go back to his spot when he's dead. Yeah, I mean, I can I can feel the frustration there, that's fair. That is a fair problem that you want to have fixed. Lots of maps to do. Bit of chaos red. That's fair to strength. If I can put these various tabs to sell. Need to revoke as far as lich privileges, yeah. He did the wide sword sword swing and then left, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it can be rough. Somehow I have successfully run out of Portal Scrolls. That is really awkward. Someone must be selling them, right? Right? Please tell me. Okay, good. Go grab some portal scrolls for someone. Fifty should be more than enough for me to. Yeah, you can sell wis uh, wisdoms for portals, but it's seven to one. It makes way more sense to just go and buy them with the chaos. Yeah. Because I got uh, 50 for one chaos, so I would be have to be able to get 350 wisdoms for the same price for it to be I mean, I'll still probably convert it if I run out of there's like a bit left, but yeah, Rizar always always sounds so disappointed when you die. Well, except for the times when he's not disappointed and he's just being an asshole. I've had him make fun of me when I died before. That was like so frustrating. <laughs> like you rude little butthole. Okay, hopefully doing tier 7s isn't going to be too big of a challenge for me. The main focus of doing them right now, though, is to get the uh, map completion, not uh, to the less necessary levels, so see what happens. If I find that I'm able to do it, though, then that would be really nice. Away Exile. Yeah, Shadow Step all around my Golem if you want. I don't care if it dies. It doesn't lose experience. Oh my gosh, imagine if your minions lost gem experience when they died. Like, experience to the next level of the gem. That would be so cruel. I don't really want that, that's for sure. Oh, that was too much cell fight. I maxed out. Trial. And a Volorb. No, I am really happy that at least the uh that at least gems don't uh lose XP when you die. That does feel like at least there's a bit of progress there, even if you suffer a bit from the XP loss. That's just in the main league like though. Like I don't like the fact that that is not a sufficient that is not a sufficient uh, uh, replacement for character XP, though, in this mode, because character XP is such a big thing. Though, I guess in some ways, maybe I should be grateful that there's such a big penalty, because that means that if people get to like 80, into the 80s and 90s for levels, then they you're a lot more likely to get a reward for that than you otherwise would be just because it's just so much harder to level but 
But maybe I'll end up benefiting from that. Who knows? Whoa! Big hit. Oh yeah, it triggered my adrenaline. Oh, let me use my adrenaline to uh, do some extra. Until I run out of stuff like I have. So a few more places I can go in this map. Should be fine. Yeah, I can get this little area here. And yeah, I don't care about this mall. Oh my go. Okay, five more. Five more maps. Okay, factories one. I die if I die during this, that's okay. Not as concerned, but well, obviously, gonna try not to. Spend some cast on death cheese parties. Do people actually use cast on death? Like, I'd love to find a way to use cast on death, but I've never seen a re like a reason to use. I love blowing up barrels with this skill. So good. Uh, cast on cheese. That's what my brain processes from cast on death cheese is cast on cheese. Or cheese on death. That actually might make more sense. Okay, there's nothing about cheese on death that makes sense, but still. You get what I'm saying? Right. Right. It was an old build that was a boss nuker. Don't really know what the skills are. Okay. I mean, if you could pump up enough at if you pump up enough charges, you might be able to use a like a really powerful discharge. Discharge is pretty strong before having a three thousand percent damage buff. I don't know how that would work, though, with charges. Like, if you're dead, you're dead. Depends when it triggers. If it counts charges in. You're doing cast on death before you die. Okay, this guy is kind of dangerous. Going to put up that, and I'm going to try to burst him down as fast as I can. Because otherwise his room will just kill me. Okay, and now for my very favorite part. Barrels! Yeah, barrels! Chain barrel lightning! <laughs> Delicious ritual? That just makes me think of, like, a ritual that covers you in chocolate. 
the ritual altar is basically just like a fondue fountain. Yeah, rituals can be pretty good for that. I'm not really a huge fan of rituals, I admit. Not really my favorite, but I'm certainly not going to turn down the XP and the money right now. No, 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 no! Damn it! Mm. Darn it. That sucks. Oh well, I didn't lose that much. That was only like 22%, which is... Far better than it could have been. Now I'm going to play really, really risky. Oh, flush compass. Nice. Okay. Oh, a Gift of the Goddess. I'll definitely take that. Those are very valuable. Okay, cool. I'm just going to cancel this, though. I'm going to go to the next thing. Yeah, Sanctum is a really, really cool concept. I'm not, like, I'm not really into it myself, but I think it is a cool concept. Uh... I do like the concept that you can essentially you can essentially have a game mode that has like its own different type of you can have like your own build for that which is kind of cool. But yeah, the concept of lag and stuttering in a in a place where you do not regenerate your quote unquote health sounds atrocious, honestly. <laughs> sounds pretty awful. Okay, four more maps. To complete four more new maps. Massive Caverns, Fracted Tomb, Bazaar, and Cells. Works for me. Fucked physical damage. Okay, yeah, I could do all these. Do the hardest ones first. While I have no XP. I'll also do the, the Junes as well, since they're an easy way I can die. I think my least like mechanic is Heist. You can get great stuff, but I just hate having to leave my hideout. Honestly! <laughs> Funny enough, uh, Heist is one of my favorite mechanics, personally. I have a character that's designed for Heist specifically. As well. Oh god. Oh no, lag, 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 lag. That is one of the great things about this game, though, is that there's so many different options that you don't have to like the same thing I do. You can like one of the other cool things in the game. If you haven't done the Forbidden Sanctums uh, free a uh, free Sanctum thing, like the very first one, the beginner one you get, you should try that and see how, how good or bad it is. Okay. Decoy Totem down. Everyone focus on the Decoy Totem. Decoy Totem down. Focus on that. bit rough having a delirium on top of all of this, I admit, but let's see what I can get.
Tier 4? Tier 4 Delirium? Yes! Okay, I'm not going to try for Tier 5. It's already getting dicey. I did, it got pretty sketchy when multiple guards were together. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry that it's a mess. Well, hopefully they'll get to work on whatever's going on with their servers. That's all I can really say. That's got okay. Eh, that's not amazing. Onwards. I don't know how hard I'm going to try to complete these maps. The yellow ones I'm doing the completion ultimately because I really do want to know that when I'm killing a boss that I have extra benefits of the safe houses progressing. Every map will be worth more after that, so... Transportation! They got transported four feet. i right, bit nervous about the boss here, but see how this goes. Decoy totem down. Totem down. Okay. Not bad. Th 38 challenges done the Sanctum League, but it was tough but fun. Aiming for 16 in this league, because man, some of these do seem possible. Yeah, that's fair. Well, good luck getting the stuff. I just go for whatever I can get, honestly. I used to care about like getting to particular challenge thresholds, but I just stopped several leagues ago and haven't really looked back since. I don't know why. I just stopped really caring. I think because I went really hard on it sometimes, and after a while you just don't want to go hard on it anymore. <laughs> Oh, alleyways. Uh, and out we go. Really getting there now. Cells, step next. Should I? Yeah, I should do Immortal Syndicate with this. When I have low XP, work on that. I have Endurance and Great Old Ones. Are these worth anything? No. 
everything, all the prices of everything have been thrown on their head with uh, this. So we're trying to figure out what things are worth. I see challenges? Oh, cool. I actually can see challenges. I'm at 12 out of 40 right now. Gain 75 deafening essences from essence monsters. Don't think I've ever seen a deafening essence with an essence monster, so that sounds challenging. Find domination. Uh, beat a harbinger boss. Leave a shrine on you. Defeat an essence monster holding six more essences. A Legion General. Okay, those sound rough. Last hands I can definitely get. I'm uh, not doing any trial of the ancestors. Beat Harbinger bosses. Oh god. Blue red tier be beachhead maps. That's not hard, that's just grindy for my build. And war hordes, I can do that. Deliriums, complete waves of simulacrum, I can probably do that. Once rituals, I can probably do that. Not doing Ancestors, Headless Produce I can do, not doing Tothalo, not doing Remarkable Realms, not doing Sanctimonious Exclusion, Illicit Corruption, Emanation. Some of these do look like kind of a pain. Only a Deafening with Essence to Corruption? Oh. I would explain why I just haven't seen them. Might be able to get some of these. I feel like I can probably get 16 relatively reasonably, but I don't think I can get much farther. Yeah, these do look like rough challenges now that I've actually spent the time to look at them. No, you don't, Haku. Hey. Where you come from. Bad random man. Hey, Haku. Intervention. Could really do with some more research. Okay, good. There is a research. Yeah. Okay, hopefully, this research will help me get to. Oops. There is far too much stuttering happening right now. It is really unnerving. Like a bunch of actions will happen, everyone will slow down to a stop, and then a bunch of actions will happen and just repeat. Oh, they're over here today. Sure. Okay. That will be enough in a couple turns to reach a research safe house. Ooh. Mentioned. Cool. Starting to get a little bit of XP again.
I'm mostly concerned with getting the safe house progress, though, because the safe houses will give a lot of XP. I need to just keep pushing for more map completions. More change that bond. Ooh, I got very close to death there. Ooh. I got a bit scary for a second. Okay, and I need two more maps. Ah yes, the Arachnid Tomb and the Bazaar. In mission. I put this away. Rectant Tomb. Second last boss we need. Before we can start getting some real safe house progress. Okay, down, oh no, and a bit close to me, okay, I got a bit dicey, Isling, level up hillock, Richie moves research, sure, Get rid of the veiled items. Hopefully this isn't too long of a map. I feel like this, this particular map is usually fairly long. Trans transportation? No, fortification. Look at the tiny fortification! It's so cute! This is like a box fort version of a syndicate fortification. It's a very small fort. I can't even get in there to talk to them. Okay. Uh, sure. Cool, so I have the safe house unlocked now. Anyone who would like to participate in the safe house, either message me in game, or say something in chat. I'm going to be doing it right after this map. Oh, research back to their safe house. Die. Wow, that was a really tanky necromancer. 
Thank you, Necro. Absolutely. I'm going to be a few minutes, but it will be soon. I want to start collecting people beforehand so that when I'm done, I can jump right into it. Oh, no, there's the boss. Okay, this might not take as long as I thought it would. Where's the boss? Oh, there's the boss. That was kind of underwhelming. Okay. Whatever. Okay, now it's safe as time. Safe house. Okay, I'm at 27% of the way. Level 73. This is essentially a tier 6. A tier 6. I almost said tier 16, no, tier 6. Wow. <laughs> the, the screen gets very busy when you start attacking. <laughs> or at least in that tight area, it certainly does. I see why people like to play Spark. So I'm glad that I don't really have to worry about whether we're getting all the boxes or not, because my arc is definitely getting all the boxes. Well, I guess and your Spark probably too. Weird group of people up on a single ledge. <laughs> I don't imagine their thought process when they're just like all standing up there, bunched up in a group, like barely enough room to stand. What are they doing up there? What are they guarding? Are they guarding? Are they just lost? Maybe they're just lost. Maybe we're murdering people who are lost. Kinda sad. Oh well, we'll we'll guide them. Valhalla. <laughs> oh, that definitely clears out everything. <laughs> Oh, my frames! 
My poor frames. I miss you. Syndicate crafting bench. Modify and I have one so white socket. Oh, please, I definitely want that. Oh, I kind of want it on the one green socket I have, so... Well, oh. okay, whatever. That might let me experiment with switching gems out, though. So, I'm kind of excited for that. Oh, what else do we have? Fossils. Oh, a cemetery map. Nice. This. Unique boss drops maps. Welcome. If you want, you can stay for this map. What this... Oh, no, I know which map this is. Okay, no, I can't do this. This is requires a lot of bossing. This is only bossing. <laughs> Never mind. Fuck that map in particular. Okay, bizarre. Forty five percent now. We're going to start seeing a lot of safe houses very soon. Whoa. What is going oh god damn it. Every once in a while when I like when anytime I remove my chest plate, it immediately switches detonate mines to basic attack, and then suddenly just nothing in my build works for until I figure out what's going wrong. I was wondering what was going on. Gotta get in the habit of just checking that, because it doesn't like, it does it every single time I either take out my main gem or, like, remove my chest plate for any reason or anything like that. Okay. Decoy down. Focus on the decoy totem. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's put Elrion in there. This. There's two Junes right beside each other right now. Not a good use of my time. But it is funny. And that's more important. <laughs> oh, is this the right way? I think it's the right way. Ow. Leave me alone, Elrion. Okay. Aku to research. Marichi rank up. Elrion. Sure, you can stay there. And June was beside herself. That's good. Oh, you.
I love really dry, silly jokes. You can't see, but I'm smiling. <laughs> Decoy totem down. Ignore me for a moment. There we go. All sword. Oh. Don't need. Uh, I'm back to trying not to die. Actually, let's go back in here. One more map. How, how did I miss a map? I thought it was only needed... Whatever. Then I gotta do a bunch of mesas. Get site, safe house progress. I hope it doesn't have to be like above a certain level or something, because otherwise it'll be kind of sad. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't put the decoy totem right there. Might not be a good spot. Put it over there by the rare. Quicksilver. Oh, I love the shot, the uh, freeze effectiveness I have. I have it's my my arc freezes so well with uh, three dragons. I'm happy that I just, like, happened to stumble upon it. Like, I didn't even plan to have three dragons. It just fulfilled my criteria of what I needed for stats at the time. And that's why I used it. I'm very happy I tried it, because it was absolutely worth it. Transportation. Guff. Do nothing. Okay, that should be it for this map. Oh, did I go? 54%. Okay, what maps do I, have I not done that... Oh, Cage, right there. I think that I think I actually was going to do cage specifically. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I don't like cage, but that doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. Another dream mission. Do as many dream missions as possible. As much progress as possible. Ow! Scorpions! Often scorpions. I don't... I like Beyond because it gives you more shit to kill. But the problem with Beyond Creatures, they usually seem to be stronger than the ones that I originally killed to get the Beyond Creatures. Which often makes it feel like I've made something dramatically more dangerous than before.
be honest. I will... You're already friends. I would prefer you don't become rivals. That does not help me in any way. Okay. And lab. Need to remember to use my flask because I still don't have any instilling orbs. I should buy some instilling orbs and actually automate my flask because I desperately need it because I just do not remember to use them. Breachy, level up. Giannis. You can bribe me to stay alive. I'm okay with that. I'll forget you were here for some search information. Okay, I see there's a, uh, not a fortification, a transportation coming up. I... Oh wow, I do so much more damage as soon as I have the Valsmite Aura. It's such... It's so valuable. I love that you can use Scepters basically to fill the same spot as you fill with Wands, and then you can use them as a melee weapon to trade your Valsmite. That's so cool. I've never tried that before. Oh, right. There's more up here. Megan, I'll cut you. Get more. Get more friendships because the more friendships you have, the more times you'll see more things. The times you see them, the more times you can kill them, the more times you can get more information from them. Explode over there, porcupines. I don't want anything to do with you. So there's something I've I've been thinking about. And I'm kinda wondering if anyone else has any insight on it. In the uh what the hell the hell this is called? The Pantheon. Uh, under Lunaris, it says you have a 10% chance to avoid projectiles. What does that mean? Because there's there used to be dodge, and there still is evade. There's suppression, but there's no avoid. There's no there's no avoiding of skills. There's avoiding of ailments, but there's no avoiding of skills. Unless that's meant to be a separate stat that we can't access, and you can only access through here. Being that it stacks with dodge and evade, which would, I think, be better because you, you could fail. You could succeed. Yeah, no, you could fail an evasion and then 
still blo avoid it, potentially. Or if it's a spell projectile, you could fail an evasion, you could fail a dodge, and then you could succeed on an avoid, if they're separate. So just, just food for thought. That's a lot of explodies. Yeah, depending on it, whether that's its own stat or not, could change its power a lot. Actually, I should check and see if it what it changes in my character or character, whatever you want to call it. I think the void goes first, but yeah, any projectile. Yeah, but is the avoid is the uh, are you saying that avoid is a separate stat? Okay, so I have fifty two percent evasion. I have thirty percent spell suppression. I have block. I have stun avoidance, I have bleed avoidance. There's no projectile avoidance listed here. I assume it's not in the offense. It's not in the miscellaneous. Maybe it's not shown. Okay, was that 52% before? If I change my Pantheon, so I'm going to go run back to the out and change my pantheon. Does that change anything here? No, my evasion... My, well, my chance to evade tax is still the same. And if it was just to evade projectiles, it would have split that off, like it does when you take um, arrow dancing. Yeah, I think it's a. I, I agree. I think it's a separate stat. Strange, though. Okay. And finally, get the intelligence gathering. Oh, safe houses which have already been located can still be randomly selected. Okay, so that did answer my earlier question too. Okay, so what are my fast maps? Barrows is really fast. Ender. I can do all these. They're all tier ones anyways. Okay, let's see. I just do tier 1 maps. So I'm at 52. Okay, now I'll go from the left. I'm at... 40, 48, 6, and 52. Let's try this. Okay, the only purpose is to go right over here, go into the arena, and get with the boss. Okay, out we go. Forty, forty-eight, sixteen. Okay, so I got. Okay, so I can just use simple tier one maps. I don't have to do anything special to them. Probably don't even need to quality them or anything. Probably only put a transmute on them.
Those are a great way to get more master missions, too. Okay, I should be able to do at least four maps before I have to check. Actually, I can do all these maps before I check what has been getting the progress. The maximum I could... I, I could still do another, like, I could get progress like six times on the the most done, the the farthest along, uh, safe house. So I shouldn't be at any risk. I destroy everything in my vicinity. Okay, boy, so totem down. All the buffs. Okay, that is a random area. Oh, you're a big guy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Freeze. Freeze no good. Just use that to kill a bunch of shit off screen. There we go. And Barrows is really good for this. I was going to ter uh, destroy my Barrows maps earlier and like upgrade them, and then I thought of this strategy. I was like, wait a minute. That's a really easy map to find the boss in. I absolutely should not get rid of that. Lots of stuff happening. Throw lines all around. Kill a large amount of stuff. I'll hear if something important drops. Decoy totem down. Buff. Can I meta? Oh, I can use a metamorph already. They're all meta. Not. Don't have any of my buffs left, though. Transformation. Nice. Cool. Next one. Do I have any favorite map slots, out of curiosity? No. Larium. Throw mines everywhere. Let them just chain to whatever happens to be in the area. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it can die.
Oh, have a mission. Delirium. What's scattering delirium are nice. Those are like 30C in the main league. How am I doing? Okay, 68 is the most. They're going all up at about the same rate, really. Stagnation again. Oh, I think that map is kind of obnoxious. I can't remember. Okay. Beach, dunes, grave trough, armorial blocks. Oh, I haven't done stagnation. For Mesa. Well, Mesa's easy to do. Grand. Grand is easy if you can run fast, and I cannot yet. I think I'm just going to do no maps then after this. So I'm just looking for the maps that are very easy to spam right now. Just to get as much safe house progress as I can as quickly as possible. Put them down over there. And boom. Ball pyramid. Sure, why not? I don't have that one done. I don't know how hard it is to find the next area in this place, but... The inventor, ball orbs. I like ball orbs. I don't like large quantities of things, though. Of threatening things, I should say. I like large quantities of ball orbs. <laughs> Okay, how do I get around there? Okay, probably. Okay, at least it's not the really slow one. Oh. Oh, that was easy. Points! What should I pick? Oh, definitely these. Working on you. And if we're lucky, we'll be able to hit 87 by the end of the stream. If we're lucky. That's a big if. Okay, Dunes. Dunes is pretty good for mob density, so... Ooh, I got a Regal Orb. I have a thing for that. Aw. A vector luster jewel with surprise sabotage on it, which is pretty good for cluster for mines. Okay. More June.
all my mines in every direction. Cleared all the random stuff. I really need to try Ball Arc again, actually. Because it might actually be really good, depending on how many things it changed to. Oh, right. I have my divination tab set up to... Set up to sale. Oops. I turn that on. Where? Oh, that must be Giannis. Hello, Giannis. Okay, decoy totem. Oh, wow, those guys melted. Oh, my convergence activated because they're unique mobs, technically. That's funny. The lock is 16, and a sling is 12. Sure, you can become that. Twenty two intervention, nice. And then Hillock will finish that off very quickly. Probably gonna just have a safe house in a moment. Yep, I have a safe house. If anyone wants to join in, feel free to message me. I will be Couple minutes before we're ready, though, because we have half this map left. here. Oh, just a cow. I'm gonna go blow up Hillock. Again. Yep. <laughs> it's about as, as imposing as usual. Oh, June, I want it. God, gosh darn it, June. I want to unveil things. Most of these boots are just really bad, though. Most of this gear is really bad. Okay. Okay, ready for safe house.
We are three hours and twenty minutes into the stream. Actually, maybe it should be a good time to call it. I have actually played quite a few hours today, trying to make sure that uh, I can get to ninety in time. So I'll probably I'll probably finish off eighty seven tonight, and then I'll have three levels to do tomorrow. We'll see if I make it. <laughs> it's gonna be gonna be a bit tight. I'll try to record me getting to 90, though, if I can. Oh, I forgot to mention, or not forgot to mention, I forgot that we were going to open our div cards. Okay, any of these that are exciting? Kind of exciting. Breachstone Splinters, Esh, Venation Card, Blood Bond, and Stack Decks. First card, Gem Cutter. Oh, that's set. Second card, Surgeon. Third card, Buried Treasure. And fourth and final card. Costly Curio, dub double influenced unique item. Cool. Keep a hold on to those then. See if it becomes worth something. And a lot of a lot of things to turn in though. Fertile for my belt. I have one more. One more HP now. Oh boy. Okay, so as I was saying, thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. Gonna head off now. It's been quite a while. Oh, wish you all luck with your Attempts either in Crangled or Ancestors or whatever you're working on right now. We have the new event starting at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, as well as this ending. I'm not going to be playing that event. That is the Calandra and Sentinel event. Uh, it's basically just standard with Sentinel and Calandra if you want to do that, which some people find fun, I don't really care about, so I'm not going to be doing it. I'll be back in uh, Ancestor League on next Tuesday, probably doing some Grand Heist and working on uh, leveling up, or just powering up that uh, my Heist Raider in general. I am hoping to eventually get together enough money to get a Headhunter, because... I, I think I think a headhunter is a good upgrade for Torrance Reclamation. <laughs> okay, I'll be seeing you next week if I don't stream any tomorrow. If I do, it will be before 5 p.m. EST because I will be trying to get there for the end of the league. Oh, you're welcome, Pyro. Okay, so everyone who's here and has been here, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a great night. And bye for now.